Man, that's some awesome French bicep. I mean, bicep, of course. Uh, he's had a very, very good impact on Union Berlin starting off the season with three goals. This includes all competitions, but his involvement in uh, the whole offense, Herc, it's pretty, pretty clear and pretty amazing for someone who just joined the team. I mean, he's a nine. Yeah. Scoring goals. That's exactly, that's that's exactly what, what they play for. And it's not just this season. All right, so in this conversation surrounding the number nine spot for the U.S. men's national team, how is he different from every other number nine in this conversation? Did you not hear me? He's a nine. He's scoring goals. But everybody else is a nine. That's and, the difference, And they're supposed though. to score goals. They don't so score goals. So is he the goals. only one scoring goals for you? He's the only one who consistently scores ah, goals. Ah, that's the key. He's got his three goals this season for Union Berlin, which is no small thing, no small feat in the Bundesliga. Last season, he had he had 22 goals, excuse me, uh, with, with young boys in the Swiss League. Uh, golden boot in the Swiss League. It, it's not just that. It's who he scores the goals against. At Atalanta in the Champions League. Manchester United in the Champions League. I don't recall a time where we're like, man, he hasn't scored a goal in a while. I don't think this guy went more than three games without a goal. And we can go through the list. The majority of the nines in the pool, this guy needs confidence. He needs to get a goal. This guy's going through a bad moment. This guy doesn't put the ball in the back of that enough. It's been so long. But this guy doesn't. He scores goals. That's a different. All types of goals, any type of way you may think of, he's just a pure goal scorer. So he's your starter right now? No. No. I, mean, I don't get it. Well, why not? Why not? That's why you're not a coach. Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> well, why not? Because, because it's not just easy as uh, you're the nine, so score goals. Because the way you presented him, right? With the U.S. men's national team, consistent. they need their nines to do different things. Ah. And they need their nines. Greg Berhalter. And this is the reason why... Mm. Jordan Pifak wasn't a part of the U.S. Men's National it's, it's, Team. It's, it's kind of a contradiction, right? To, well, you see it. You see the contradiction. No. Number nines are supposed to score. Right. And you're saying he's the one scoring with the most consistency. Yeah. But you don't start him. I don't start him because Greg Holder's <laughs> not going to start him. It's, no, I ask you. I ask you. Josh Sargent is my favorite nine right now. And he's who would I would start because he gives you the flexibility. And this is what's supposed to be Jordan Pifak's segment, but it's a flexibility of what you can do. Uh, in the system with other players in or around you and putting the ball in the back of the net. I know Jordan Pifak can put the ball in the back of the net. Mm -hmm. I've yet to see him be flexible in the interpretation of space and the way he combines with other players and fit in a system where you probably won't have the ball the majority of the time. He's not, he's not acquiring those skills from now until the start of the World Cup. No, but it doesn't mean he can't be part of the World Cup. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, he probably will be a part of the roster, right? But it's one thing to Maybe. be a part of the roster. It's another thing to become a starter, an important player for the squad. If you go to the World Cup, chances are you may not only play, but you may start in the World Cup. That's how it goes. Injuries happen. We're in, still in a pandemic. COVID could happen. You saw what happened in the women's Euros. Uh, rotation, uh, illness, whatever the case may be, you may get your chance. It doesn't mean he can't be a productive player because he's a productive player. Mm -hmm. But there's obviously something missing for Greg Berhalter, where he wasn't with the U.S. men's national team for a long stretch. And when he did come back, he had the one opportunity versus Mexico. Yes. And people still criticize him What was your tweet? That. What was your tweet? What the peafuck. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.